woke up. In the pen, I think you leveled up. With some hoes that I can't cuff, yeah. I got lean in my cup, I got rumors I can trust, yeah. Niggas thinking that they tough, they don't wanna play with us. What's up, you guys? How's everyone doing today? Today I got a little special announcement. I got a car back that I was waiting for for a very long time. Got it back. Let me just show you guys. You guys ready? I don't think y'all ready, but I'm going to show you, all right? Look at this beauty right here. So, yeah, basically I was waiting three months for this, for this car to get done. This is my E30. That's the 39. By the way, the oil pump did come from the 39. I'm going to make a video on that soon but this is the e30 and yeah man this is my first car i just i just love this car man so today what we're gonna do show you in a bit so the front bumper looks great i mean i have nothing to say about it but um it's the back bumper that really bothers me i'm gonna show you out in a second so before I put the M Tech 2 bumper on it, it was just stock, so it had that single exit exhaust, you know what I mean? So now that I have the space, it just looks weird having one coming out of there. You know, I want two tips, no homo, I want two tips, chrome, feel me? I want it to come out, I want it to pop out. So it just gives it a more, while well, idiots drive by, it gives it a more aggressive, you know, tone in the back. All right, so while we're waiting for this thing to warm up, I'm gonna give y'all a little history on this car. Um, basically, I got into my first accident with this car. It was my first car, so first day I got it, took it out. I went to go show my friends, you know how it goes. I went to go show my friends. Look, I got a stick shift, I can shift gears, I could do all this. Next thing you know, um, I get to a stop sign, blow the stop sign, and uh, I got T-boned by a truck. So this this rear quarter panel right here was toast. So I had to get it all done. And that's not the only thing that happened actually. So after that happened, I was literally driving around like that for a good two, three months. And then um, I'm going back to Queens. Oh, all my accidents happen when I'm going to Queens, bro. I live in Yonkers. All my accidents happen when I'm going to Queens. I went to Queens again. And uh, on the highway, as I'm merging onto the highway, some idiot cuts me off, cuts in front of me, and then brake checks me. So when I go to brake, my uh, my brake line bursted. So my car didn't stop at all. So I ended up rear-ending someone. You feel me? I'm going to give you, I'm going to throw in all the uh, pics out of how it used to look and how it looks now. You got, I mean, I couldn't even believe it was the same car, to be honest. So yeah, so basically after all that, all that shit happened, um, I was like, I'm not driving like this. So I took it to the shop um, and they literally held my car hostage for like three months, man. It took them three months to uh, weld a new quarter panel on and then slap on the front and back M Tech 2 bumpers and paint the whole car. So, I mean, you know, I told them not to rush. I guess they took a little advantage of that. They definitely didn't rush at all. And they just um, took their sweet time with the car, man. And it took me three months to get it back, but I finally got it back. And I can say, I could definitely say it was worth it for sure. So today, what I'm gonna do is, I, I told you guys already, I'm gonna go to the muffler shop and I'm gonna get that, uh, that rear bumper, you know, that there's too much space in that gap, you feel me? I, that shit bothers me. So I'm gonna put two chrome tips, no homo. I'm gonna put two chrome tips for my exhaust in the back and maybe I might just delete that muffler because I don't like that muffler either. That muffler is just, I don't like how the car idles with it. I don't, I mean, I wanna, me and I idle, I might just delete that muffler and just, you know, go. I have one cap, 
and then that's the only thing left, the muffler. So I might just go from one cap, straight pipe. All right, guys. So I'm about to go to the muffler shop right now. I'll check back with you guys when I'm uh, when I'm there. See you. Okay, guys. So basically, I'm gonna delete this muffler right here, and then we're gonna do a straight pipe from there, coming here into two two tips. I'm gonna put maybe these. Probably put these. Clean them up a bit. Put them there. Or something else. I don't know. They have a lot to choose from. So I'm gonna see. All these tips. No homo. All these tips to choose from. Which ones would I go with? Y'all see soon. Now we just gotta work with that. Make it a straight pipe from there into these bad boys right here. All right, guys, that's the finished product. I kind of like it. It's way better than it was. My guy's still doing some welding, but no more muffler. She's about to sound a lot meaner. Welded that bitch on. Straight pipe from right there. And we need new springs. Holy shit. Yeah, man. Finished product. All right, guys, so I'm back home now. Um, I'm gonna throw in some before and after clips of how the car used to sound and how it sounds now. Um, it sounds a lot louder. I don't know if I like it. I don't know if I wanna keep it, but all I know is I'm gonna get stopped by the cops a lot now. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna throw in some clips that concludes the, the video. Um, like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next one. Hey, yo, new exhaust check.